As leaders, we tend to be ambitious, creative, and visionary. We see so many opportunities to pursue and so many challenges to overcome. We can be very comfortable with changes and nuances and priorities. But this does present the danger of a lack of focus. That hurts our personal effectiveness, but especially it hurts the performance of those we lead. Consider this information provided by Franklin Covey's book, The Four Disciplines of Execution. If you aim for one to three goals, you'll achieve one to three of them. If you aim for four to ten goals, you'll achieve only one or two. You'll be going backward. And worse, if you aim for 11 to 20 goals, you'll achieve exactly zero. In other words, if you want to be more effective, you should focus on a smaller number of priorities. The more priorities, the less effective you will be. Your lack of focus will pull people in too many directions. By priorities, we mean the goals that you set for your team, as well as other key messages that you communicate. If you communicate just one key message with consistency, you are likely to truly engage people with that message. In 2012, Larry Page said the company he had co-founded, Google, had been spread too thin in recent years. So as CEO, he cut more than 30 products to simplify and focus on what he called the big bets that will make a difference in the world. He simplified Google down to make it as easy as possible for people to find the information they want. And I love a story that Franklin Covey tells about another famous tech company, Apple. CEO Tim Cook said, we are the most focused company I know. We say no to great ideas in order to keep the amount of things we focus on very small in number so that we can put enormous energy behind the ones we do choose. A leader at one of Apple's competitors was responsible for creating a new interface to compete with the iPhone. How would you like that assignment? He complained, it's really not fair. We make over 40 different phones. They only make one. It's really not fair. Why not make focus an unfair advantage for you and your team? Narrow your focus down to one or two important priorities or messages and be consistent so your team can keep their time and energy focused. This quarter or year is going to end at some point. Your team will get the necessary day-to-day -day things done without you worrying about those things. But what are the one or two or maybe three areas where change would have the greatest impact? Can you be laser focused and consistent on those messages so you achieve something big rather than being diffused by so many messages and achieving exactly none of them. For help in focusing your message, use the Big Little Outcome Scope. You can learn about the Big Little Outcome Scope on the Engaging Leader Podcast, Episode 27, as well as in my free ebook, Eight Communication Tools for Leaders. I'm Jesse Leahy with EngagingLeader.com.